GNT, GNT, GNT. We just finished recording the pod, obviously, and this is our second to last episode because we are ending season two soon. We talked about codependency because I have problems. <laughs> We've both been through codependent relationships. It was a very good episode. Oh, we forgot to wear the boobs. Damn it. The boobs in the last vlog, they're sitting right there. We were supposed to wear them for today. Anyway, so I have a call and Lily has a call. Everybody has calls and things to do, but we wrapped up good episode. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> we are at the Boy Smells Casey Musgraves. Am I saying her name right? I think I might get crucified for that one, but she did a collaboration with Boy Smells and we're at the launch and we're having Hell yeah. Ooh. All right, JFK, we're going to where? Germany. <laughs> He's going on tour with his band. Tell the people more about it. Holy Mother. Holy Mother. Six right. Six shows in Germany. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. He got his hair done. It looks amazing. Look at the highlights. Beautiful, wonderful. That's where I get my curls from. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> waiting on the other guys. Yeah, we're waiting for the rest of the band members, but... So we can go play some metal. Yep, and then they go play yeah. some metal music. I am only here because I got a ride from my mom here, so I could only drive like 30 minutes home now, so... Yay! <laughs> there he is, leaving. Rock on, Jim Harris. <laughs> Rock on! The breakfast of Kings and Queens. Big Jeans is here, but we're not gonna show them yet. We'll do hard launch eventually, but they're not ready for me now. It's not gonna work. It is. They can't see you. They can't see you at all. Kee <laughs> <laughs> I woke up just absolutely craving pastries and fruit specifically. So I went and I picked up like a bunch of fruit and I went to the local coffee shop and got a bunch of pastries. So Hello, oh, that didn't work. Hello? Blueberries, grapes, kiwi, apples, strawberries, watermelon, pineapple, and then plain croissant, chocolate croissant, raspberry, scone, and blueberry and cheese, Danish. Dig in. What are we doing? Like, cross arms? Back to back, gotta lean on each other. Oh. Hey, people. Hey, Who else would be like taking that. the Chicky X Big Jeans hard launch picture other than me, obviously? Holy fuck! There's no fucking way! It's giving mad. Holy shit. Hello! Yeah, work it, bitch! Let's go! Nope. I think that's good. It's got some nice zoom on it. <laughs> I'm just like <laughs> fucking with your camera right now. He's stealing them from me! Thank you for joining us. Okay, guys. Uh, I just got my teeth filled and like, I can't properly talk. Look, this is the most I can smile, okay? Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh. It is currently 9 a.m. I have my first coaching client at 12. So I'm like really praying that this goes down by like 11. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to cancel that appointment. Do you hear me? I can't even talk. I'm like drooling. I don't think I've ever been this like numb before when I got a filling done. I'm struggling. Ugh, I think I'm gonna go back to bed. All right, so we're going out for Ryan's birthday tonight and I'm having an outfit crisis. Like I literally have no going out tops, like no flattering good going out tops anymore. I feel like mine are all so outdated. And so I have this top on, it's from Durf Avenue. It's like a little revealing at the stomach. And then I also have this like tank air mini skirt on and some boots, but I'm like really not feeling myself tonight. My hair came out good. Like my curls came out really nice my makeup looks good but like outfit wise i am just like 
not with it. I just need to like tough it out for the night and accept that I hate how I look. Like I hate going out and like not being confident or like feeling like comfortable in your own clothes. Anyways, I need to go. Everybody's on their way, so I need to leave also. So let's go. I'm like not even in the mood to vlog tonight because I just like hate how I look. I know it'll like be fine when I actually get there, but I'm just like, ugh. It's really not that deep. I need to get the fuck over it. It's my wife's birthday. It's my wife's birthday. Just for tonight, I promised that I would have a little alcoholic bevy in the name of Ryan Rizzo. So this is my little gin drink. <laughs> All right, we are at brunch. Here's Paige. This is my new little coach bag, by the way. I'm wearing her out. So She's cute. so cute. But I got a Nutella latte, and we have a bunch of more food coming. I am so fucking hungry, but this is so good. Go for it. I've been trying to wean off of oat, but I feel like Nutella latte and almond doesn't go no. yeah i don't know i felt like it would be better with oat though so it's good good all right all the food just came out all at once we have this almond cherry bar this peach ricotta toast that power bowl that Paige got tuna on which looks so good and my bacon egg and cheese bagel oh wait i can put it up here no i can't no. i like this Oh, big sleigh. More down. Oh, a little bit more down. Want? I'm trying to stare at your titties, girl. We're on the Upper West Side. We're taking pics. This is the best place in New York. You just like pick notes. My I, I know, I did. <laughs> Whoopsies. Paige has like a fan club following her today. Two girls within like not even 10 minutes of they being like, oh my God, I love her. your videos. I, love them. <laughs> I literally can't see what I'm vlogging, but Ew. we are at the Grand Bazaar on the Upper West Side. Where do we even begin? Oh my god, there's begin? clothes this way. Oh okay. wait, there's clothes everywhere. We gotta go all over the place. All right guys, I am in this robe because I'm home now, but on my way home, I decided to stop at the Japanese like supermarket that's near me. Um, and I saw natto or natto however you pronounce it it's fermented soybeans and i see people on tiktok trying this and some people love it and some people hate it it's like a traditional like quick like japanese dish but i don't know the reviews are very split on it so i decided i wanted to try it for myself i did just eat a onigiri once again i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right but anyways i love these the spicy tuna one is so good i just ate a full one of those and i have this one out to eat for dinner as well because I usually eat two and that will fill me up but I have this one out just in case I hate this but I thought I would film myself trying this all right so let's open it up this is like what it looks like it looks like there's like a little oh, this looks like mustard or something and then this is like the little like sauce packet I heard that it has like a pungent like cheesy smell I don't think it smells bad I heard that the more like fluffier you make them the better they are let's add this like little sauce thing in maybe first they're kind of like hard right now though it's like i don't know how i'm supposed to like mix them was i supposed to let them like sit out for a while okay this looks like it's getting like fluffier okay so this is like more so what it's like supposed to look like all right let's just like try it sauce packer. I hope this like isn't spicy though. Like what is this? Oh, that's wasabi. Such an idiot. I thought it was mustard. Um, I don't know. I don't necessarily like it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I keep eating it though, but like, because I'm trying to like to give it like a really good like judgment call. It just tastes like beans. Like it's like very like earthy. I feel like this would be like really good like with something. Not just like on its own. I don't know. I don't think it's for me. I don't hate it by any means, but I also like don't know if I necessarily like it. Like I wouldn't like repurchase it. And I don't really want to carry on eating it. So I'm going to stop. I will save these though. I'm not going to let them go to waste. Probably like have my boyfriend try one. I'll be for the night going back to my spicy tuna onigiri and my Ramon grape soda. Before I filmed this, I saw some girl on TikTok that was like reacting to eating natto for the first time. And she had this like 
crazy like reaction like a bad reaction like she i felt like was making it like way more dramatic than like it absolutely needed to be anyways let's just like go back to what we know which is the onigiri that i literally just absolutely screwed up oh my god did i just screw this up no oh never mind <laughs> oops it's fine we will fix it she's all fixed all right, I'm gonna go eat this because this is dinner. And then I'm gonna clean my apartment for like the whole night. Tomorrow is Monday, but I don't like have to be up tomorrow for anything. Like I have work tomorrow, but I don't have to be up at a certain time. I'm gonna go eat this and talk to you when I talk to you. So bye.